Hello everybody and welcome back. Hope we're having a great day and we're all doing well. So the Solace nerf, which is coming in Year 9 Season 2, Operation New Blood, has had a lot of people talking. A lot of people seem to think that they have went a bit far with this nerf. And I'm not really one to overreact with nerfs. I think nerfs are perfectly valid in this game. Majority of the time, I do agree with nerfs. However, I think this is a situation where I do agree. I think they've went a little too far. Now, Ubisoft have given us a reason as to why they've done each of these nerfs and they've also given us a little hint about the next set of changes coming to solace which will be in year nine season three because this is only a part one and i do say changes because from what i've read it doesn't seem like they're inherently nerfs like this season rather more of a rebalance and change which i could probably compare to the fenrir change which came in this season where yes he did lose a code and he did lose a dread mine however they also changed it where he no longer loses his code when they've been shot rather he gets them back in his pocket so yes it is a nerf to Fenrir but he also has a change where he can now reactivate the unactivated gadgets with the codes which have already been from destroyed gadgets so then it's also not necessarily a buff but a nice rebalance and change to give him more opportunities despite being toned down and I have a feeling they may potentially do that to Solace in season three based on what they've said however I can only work with what we're given and what we're given right now is a lot of nerfs to Solace so so let's firstly start with what are the nerfs for those of you who don't know. So to begin with, her gadget has been completely disabled during the prep phase. I think that's good personally. As well as this, her gadget's duration is now only 10 seconds down from 20. That's a significant drop. As well as this, her gadget now needs to be fully recharged before you use it again. So in her current state, even though her gadget isn't fully to the top of the bar, so it's like halfway through, you can still activate it and it will take it from that amount. Not with this new change you have to wait for 100% before you use it again. The detection range of her spec IO is now down to 12 meters, which was once 15. And finally, they removed her impact grenades and given her proximity alarm. Now, I'm going to share my thoughts on all this in a minute, but let's look at the piece of text which Ubisoft provided alongside this, giving their reasoning and also sort of talking about what's going to be coming in year nine season three for her. So it starts off with, we have two primary objectives. First, we would like to reduce Solace's pressure over the attack drones specifically during the prep phase secondly we would like to increase the amount of players attention on the spec io resource management solace has proven highly effective in hunting and neutralizing drones which are crucial to build a successful attack strategy if attackers cannot reveal the defender setup and position their drones inside the building the attack is likely to fail our goal is to strike a balance solace should remain relevant in this role while attackers gain additional opportunities to fulfill their droning operations with these changes attackers will have less pressure to drone during the prep phase but they will need to remain careful and aware of solace during the action phase after some data analysis and observing player behavior we've came to the conclusion that these spec io resources are too generous players usually do not consume all of the energy available for the spec io and when they do it the wait time until they are back online is quite short the new spec io resources setting should encourage players to use the spec io in shorter bursts rather than keeping them on for long periods of time we also want to reduce a bit of solace's roaming capabilities specifically her speed whilst moving through the map we will replace her impact grenades with proxy alarms which will give her a new tool to gather intel from long distances we encourage players to explore less commonly used weapons like the shotgun ita 12l adding it to their loadouts will grant solace is still capable of causing destruction and executing vertical plays we've introduced a set of changes to create a more balanced solace however this isn't her final form we're closely monitoring the impact of these adjustments while simultaneously developing a fresh wave of changes that will specifically enhance her gadget detection and scanning mechanics Stay tuned for further improvements. Right, so let's start looking at these changes in more detail. Let's begin with the removal of the prep phase. This is one I'm very happy with. I thought that this should always come to her and I'm glad that they've done it. And I'm going to be honest, I think this is the only thing they should have done. I thought the rest of these changes were pretty unnecessary. Now, the reason why I thought this should have happened to Solace and why it has happened is because her gadget is just fundamentally broken in the prep phase. Like what Ubisoft says, the prep phase isn't important for attackers to find the location of site, find what defenders are going to be playing against, and also set up drone for that following attack. 
having a defender which can blatantly see every single one of those cameras is just too much and before i see a comment saying oh well you can just keep your drone outside or just tell everyone to go on one drone so she can't see the other drones you realize that is solace still winning then if you're too scared to put your drone in the building because you have a solace that isn't you playing smart that is solace yet again being overpowered in the prep phase but outside of the prep phase i've never had an issue with solace if i'm on my phone outside and i get ran out on that's my fault i should have identified that there was a solace on the board and played smarter according to that the same thing could have happened if they had a pulse or if I'm going for a planet, for example, and she stops me from below. I don't think there's an issue with that. That's her doing her job. The same way that I'm getting punished for trying to plant when there's a solace below, if there's a pulse below, or if there's a valve camera above me and someone's playing below with nitro. That's never been an issue. And I have a really big issue with the removal of impact nades because yes, impact nades were annoying. And I won't lie, there has been times when solace has had them and I thought, oh, that's quite strong. But then impact nades got nerfed. They aren't as lethal as they were before. They made impact nades less lethal so they could be used more for utility destruction, map destruction. They didn't want them to be only used for killing people. So with that change to impact nades in mind, that makes perfect sense to keep them for solace. An operator who would benefit from impact nades. I scan an air jab, I can impact it, or a claymore, or these other gadgets. And even though they are nerfed, they still do damage and are good for stopping plants from below. With the removal of impact nades, that means the only way you can stop a plant from below with solace is by bringing the shotgun. And yes, that is a good loadout, but why would I not just then run Pulse who has nitro cell? Or run a Valkyrie and I could stick a camera upstairs and use my nitro from below. I just find it very strange that impact nades were nerfed to focus more on the other aspects of them rather than them being used for killing and then removing it from an operator who can use those other aspects of the impact nades other than killing. I think just that makes absolutely no sense and giving her proximity alarm instead like I, I don't know I think that just makes absolutely no sense. I feel like they just saw how strong she was and kept needing to hit that nerf button but like this makes no sense. Impact grenades make sense in Solace's loadout especially with her now being nerfed and not being used in the prep phase she can really really focus on using them to clear utility, to clear gadgets, to clear claymores, air jabs, all these other things which she's just spotted on her camera. I just don't see the sense here. Like, I can't even scan a window now, see as a claymore, and I can't even clear it unless I go for a jump out and attempt to shoot it first. It just completely removes another entire aspect from Solace, which was unnecessary to remove. The prep phase was the main issue with Solace. We didn't need to start affecting how she performs in the action phase as well. And I'm going to say, I think the duration nerf was unnecessary, I think the range nerf was unnecessary, and I think the fully recharge requirement is unnecessary. You can disagree with me here, but I thought Solace was always fine in the action phase. It was genuinely just the prep phase where the issues laid. And I am quite sad to see that there's so many of these nerfs which are coming to her are actually affecting her performance in the action phase. Now granted, her performance in the prep phase is gone, so you can't do much more there. But like I've said multiple times in this video, that is kind of all she needed. And I could have been completely wrong, right? Let's say all they done was remove her gadget from the prep phase, left her as she is. We would have had time to see how that played out. How a Solace truly performed without that bonus of the prep phase. The prep phase is gone, you leave her as is, we get to see how players use her in the action phase in her current state, and I could have put my hands up and said, all right, I'm wrong, she's still too strong, maybe give her more nerfs, but we never got to experience that. We never got to see what a solace limited to the action phase in her current state would look like. It might have been fine, because I can kind of say that now with these nerfs on top of that, I don't think I'll ever see myself picking solace again. Of course, you can't bring her for the prep phase, phase. That's fine. I wanted that. But for plant denial, I'll never bring her for plant denial now. I'll bring Pulse. I'll bring any up with a Nitro Cell. I'll bring Valkyrie. I'll bring all these other operators who can just do it better now. Yeah, I can still use her gadget in the limited time in the action phase to see where they're pushing from. Maybe someone's on their phone. That's still going to be useful. Don't get me wrong. But at that rate, if I'm going for that key play where I want to see where they're pushing from, I'll just rather use cameras at this point. Or if I want to do a hard operator like that, I'll just bring Pulse because now I can stop plants with him as well. There is just too many factors 
characters which Solus has been knocked from where I just don't see any reason to play her in any circumstance. In my perfect world like I said I would have liked it if they only removed her from the prep phase and we got to see what a current state Solus would have looked like without that prep phase bonus but unfortunately it doesn't seem like it's going to be that way she is going to go in heavily nerfed next season however I am optimistic for year 9 season 3 because what they've said doesn't sound like it's going to be a nerf rather it sounds like it's going to be a redevelopment of her it does say it will enhance her gadget detection and scanning mechanics maybe they'll remove the ping sweep option and you can just ping items just like iq can that would definitely be a really good change to her i don't want to say buff technically is a buff but if we're going to be nerfing and buffing like this i think the better term is just rebalance but yeah, going into Operation New Blood, I think they have definitely overdone this nerf to Solace. But I guess one thing to keep in the back of your mind is that they know what they're doing next to Solace and we don't. So it could be viable now. We could be looking back on this video and saying, you know what, because what came in year nine, season three, that made sense. But from where we are in this current standpoint, I can only look at what's been given to us. And what has been given to us is a Solace who has been hit pretty hard. But yeah, be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the brand new Solace nerf coming in Operation New Blood. What are your thoughts on it? Do you agree with me that they should have only removed her from the prep phase and done nothing else? Do you think they should have went further? I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. So drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you later. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.